hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created an api to add product in the user's wish list and in today's video we will call this api from our angular application and then we will create an api to get the wish list of the user in our spring boot so let's get started so to create the api call we need to open the customer service and here let's copy this give review method and let's paste it here and then we need to update the name of this method to add product to wishlist and after this we need to remove this review dto and we need to give wishlist dto and we will pass the same as the request body and after this we need to update the path and that should be api slash customer slash wishlist our api call is ready now let's save this file and let's go to view product detail component and we need to open the ts file and in this file we need to write a method to call that api and we can name this method as add to wishlist and here we need to build our request body and for that we can create a constant variable and we can name this as wishlist dto and in this wishlist dto first of all we need to set the product id and for the value we can use our product id variable of our component which we are getting from the route so here we will mention this dot product id and after the product id we need to give the user id and this user id we can get from user storage service and we can call get user id method and our wishlist dto is ready now we will use our customer service and we will call add product to wishlist method and in the params of this method we will pass wishlist dto and then we will subscribe the response and we will write an arrow function and in this method we will write one if condition and we will check if a response dot id is not equal to null and if it is true then we will use our snack bar and we will show a message product added to wishlist successfully and after this we will write else case and in the else case we will use snack bar and we will show a message that already in wishlist and after this let's remove this semicolon and with this our api call method is completed now let's save this file and let's open our html file and in our html file after the category we will show a button and we will use mat icon button and for the icon we will pass favorite underscore border and on the click of this button we will call the method add to wishlist now let's save this html file as well and let's run our application and to run our application we can write a command which is npm start and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality for add product in the wish list and on the login page after adding the email and password let's click on this login button and you can see we got redirected to our dashboard now let's click on the name of any product now let's scroll down and you can see a heart icon button now let's click on this button and you can see we got the message that product added to wishlist successfully now let's go to our backend application and let's create an api to get all products of the user's wishlist and we will create a new page here and on the click of this button we will show that page and we will show all the products of the user's wishlist so in our spring boot application to create the api first of all we need to create the jpa query and for that we can open our wishlist repository and here we will write the query and a return type of this method will be list of wishlist and the query will be find all by user id 
and in the params of this method we will mention long user id now let's import this list class here and after this we need to open our wishlist service implementation to write the method and here we can start writing our method and this method will return list of wishlist dto and we can name this method as get wishlist by user id and in the params we will mention long user id now let's import the list class here as well and here in this method we will write a return statement and we will call wishlist repository dot find all by user id method and in the params we will pass user id and after this we will use stream method to loop through the wishlist and then we will call the map method and in this we will call get wishlist dto and if we open this get wishlist dto method you can see here in this method we are converting our wishlist entity to the wishlist dto now let's go back to our wishlist service implementation and at the end we will call collect method and our method is completed now let's copy this and let's mention in the wishlist service and now we need to write the endpoint for this method call so let's open our wishlist controller and here we can start writing our method and the return type of this method will be response entity of list of wishlist dto and we can name this endpoint as get wishlist by user id and here we need to mention at the rate path variable annotation and the type of this will be long and we can name this as user id now let's import this list class here and in this method we will write a return statement and we will return response entity dot ok and here we will call our wishlist service dot get wishlist by user id and in the params we will pass the user id and at the end we need to annotate this method and we will use get mapping annotation and for the path we will pass slash wishlist slash user id and with this our api call is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors and that's it for this video in the next video we will create a page and we will call this api to show the products of the wishlist to the user